here's how that came about. This was before Walter retired. Uh, Roger Mudd had done the Saturday News for about seven years. Uh, he, was, he covered Congress here in Washington, then went up to Washington, uh, went up to New York every, uh, every Saturday to do the Saturday News. Well, Walter, uh, Walter Cronkite decided that he wanted more time off in the summer, so Roger uh, was to be the chief substitute for Walter when Walter, Walter was going to, in those days, take off, uh, this must have been 73, two months a year. He was going to take off July and August. Well, uh, Roger, who had been doing the Saturday News, uh, was going to do that, so he stopped doing the Saturday News. So they had a little tryout, and it was myself, Dan Rather, Dan by that time was doing the Sunday night news. So myself, Dan Rather, Charles Osgood, and Barry Serafin, who later went to work at ABC, tried out to see who was going to do this weekend uh, news. Well, I sort of won that competition. Dan, who had been doing the Sunday news, moved over to do the uh, Saturday news. I took over the uh, Sunday night news, and then uh, when Dan later left the White House uh, and went to 60 Minutes, uh, I moved over and did the Saturday News and, and, uh, and covered the White House, took his place at the White House Correspondent. So that's how I got, got into kind of the rotation. And I wound up doing the Saturday News for 23 years, which I think is the longest anybody ever did it. Well, I know it is. I'd go up on Saturday morning, I'd come back on Saturday night, and other than my wife and I never going out to dinner on Saturday night, it wasn't too much of a, a burden on us. And, uh, and by that time, you know, I started covering the White House, and uh, then two and a half years into the uh, Carter administration, I became the White House correspondent with, uh, when President Ford was president. I replaced Dan at the White House. Uh, and then in 1979, I went to New York to anchor a new version of the morning news. Uh, and I did that in 79 and 80, but it was a disaster. We tried to put, they had created this new program called Sunday Morning, and they tried to do it also through Monday through Friday. Well, it was very slow and it had a lot of features on, on nature and things like that. Turned out people didn't want to watch birds flying Monday through Friday. They wanted to know what the weather was. And uh, so, it was not a good concept. I was not very good at it. And so uh, in 1980, uh, when Roger left uh, CBS after they announced that Dan Rather was going to replace Walter Cronkite, I asked to come back to Washington. And so that's how I got back here and uh, been here ever since.